In this video, we're going to take the concept of leaving groups, which we talked about earlier, and we're going to apply this concept towards figuring out the products of different substitution reactions. So what I've done here is draw out a few different examples of reactions, and we have two groups on each side, or one group on each side, which could potentially act as a leaving group. And your job is to figure out which one is going to be the better leaving group, and therefore draw the product of each substitution reaction. So why don't you press pause, work on these problems by yourself when you're ready, press play and we'll go through them. Okay, so let's look at this first molecule. We have four carbons here on the left hand side, we have OCH3 and on the right hand side we have Cl. Now we ask ourselves, when we do a substitution reaction, one of these groups is going to act as a leaving group. So our Cn, which is our nucleophile here, is going to take its pair of electrons and it's going to either attack carbon 1, in which case it would expel Cl minus, and or it will attack carbon 4, in which case it would expel OCH3 minus. So the question to ask is which is a better leaving group? Which means which is a weaker base question mark. So how do we figure out which one of these two OCH3 or Cl is a weaker base? Well there's one way to do that and that is just by looking at what we call a pKa table and we can by looking at a pKa table look at a list of conjugate bases and as we go to the the strongest acids have the weakest conjugate bases. So we can find Cl minus here it's the conjugate base of, of hydrochloric acid and we see that it's actually, it's an, actually listed as an excellent leaving group. And down here we have alcohols, an example methanol, and the conjugate base of methanol is CH3O minus. So this is a much stronger base, stronger base than Cl, which is going to tell us that Cl is actually our better leaving group here. So this is our better leaving group, which means that Cn is going to attack carbon 1 preferentially and our product for this reaction will look like this. So this will give us CH3O and then carbon, actually let me redraw it a little bit. So CH3O and then one, two, three, four. Now it is a substitution reaction, which means that we're going to break the carbon Cl bond and we're going to form the carbon Cn bond. So we are going to draw in C triple bond N lone pair, and that's our product. Okay, and we're going to have expelled Cl minus. And if I had to draw the mechanism for this reaction, it would look like this. Take the lone pair from Cn and draw it in, doing the backside attack on carbon one, and then the second arrow, we would draw a new lone pair on Cl. So maybe we can draw that in. That green is the new lone pair. Notice our chlorine becomes neut starts off neutral and becomes negatively charged. Okay, all right, so let's look at the next example. We have uh, carbon, again, four carbons, and our choice in this case is either Cl or Br. And the nucleophile being NaSCH3 minus, I could have shown this being NaCn as well. It, the choice of nucleophile isn't really important for this question. We're really just asking the question about leaving groups. So here we are have the potential to attack either carbon four. Actually, let's do that in red. Carbon four or carbon one. And so this would give us Cl minus if we attacked carbon four or Br minus if we attacked carbon one. So that would give us, um, if we look at our list of leaving groups, we have hydrobromic acid is at the top, so it's a strong, stronger acid than HCl, which means Cl is actually a stronger base than Br. So all things being equal, NaSCH3 should displace the bromine uh, rather than the Cl because Br minus is again a weaker base. So that would give us um, C, 
H three C S and then draw that out and then we'd have CL left behind. If we use one equivalent, I'm sure if we use a second equivalent, then we would be able to displace the, the CL as well. Okay, third example. Um, again, let's just number it. I'm numbering these arbitrarily here. I'm not using official IUPAC numbering or anything, just to keep track of what's going on. And we have a choice between SCH3 and OTS. Our nucleophile is NaOH. Again, I could have chosen to use NaSH3 or Cn minus. Choice of nucleophile isn't really important here. Uh, we're just really asking what's going to be the better leaving group. So again, we could attack either carbon four or carbon one. And so if we attacked carbon four, this would give us OTS. And remember, this is the tosylate anion. So this is. Um, looks like this O S double bond O O aromatic ring CH3 negative charge so that's O T S and uh, n minus and here we have S C H3 so this would be S C H3 minus and so the choice between S C H3 minus and O T S again we could consult our leaving group table and that would tell us that, well, up here we have sulfonic acids. This is toxic acid, and the pKa of toxic acid is about minus three, which means that the conjugate base toxic acid is a very, very weak base. Um, so not quite as weak as Cl minus or Br minus, but but a, a considerably weaker base. And then we look down here. Well, we actually don't have thiols on here. Um, we should, but thiols are around twelve. Thiols are around 12. So they're in between protonated amines and water. They're actually weaker bases than, than proton, deprotonated alkoxides. So this would give us, this would mean that OTS is going to be our better leaving group. And so therefore our product is going to be H3CS234. And then we'd have we'd be forming a bond between carbon uh, and oxygen. And so I didn't draw the mechanism for that last example. So let's draw it in here. So lone pair going to there, and, and that gives us. Oops, sorry. I would have to do it all over the bromine here. Uh, it's kind of messy. Let's not do that. So we'll just do it over to the Br. Do it over to the OTS. Sorry. And so the OH minus is going to attack the carbon. And we're going to break the carbon to OTS bond. So that's going to give us this as our leaving group. And we're going to form carbon to, to OH. So those are three examples of how to use relative basicities, i.e. leaving group abilities, to figure out what products you're going to get when you have multiple groups present, which could potentially act as leaving groups. So the best way to think through these problems is to think, okay, what's going to be the, the best leaving group, therefore, what's going to be the weakest base, and to work there, work from there, and, and from there you can figure out what's going to be the product of your substitution reaction.